This video is sponsored by Hawthorne, who gives you premium Taylor colognes based on the quiz you take. Stay tuned for more information later in the video. <coughs> What's up guys, Sam here. Hope you guys are doing better than iOS 14 because it's got a it's got a leak. There's a hole in the ship and it's not getting saved anytime soon. The leaks keep on coming. We've got more information about how Apple could be implementing quick access to applications, meaning you wouldn't even have to download anything to start using them. A potential first look at how widgets on the home screen could be situated and uh, also a other look at the iPhone 12, like the really cool front part of it. On the iPad, the top bar is getting redesigned in addition to being able to like do math in the notes app. There's so much to talk about. And every week I'm like, no, this is it. There's not going to be any more. And then I look over on the basketball court and Tim Cook just comes over and dunks on me. And I can't do anything because he's rich and powerful and I just run this little YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and talk about the latest on iOS and iPadOS 14. Drop a like if you're looking forward to this one. Hit subscribe for more. Let's just go ahead and jump in, guys. All right, first up, let's talk about these leaked images. Uh, again, coming to us courtesy of the best Twitter name in the game, at Chocobit. According to some people with access to this software, this is 100% legitimate. Now, whether Apple ends up doing this, that's always a different story, as these could be placeholders or Apple's plans could change. But we do know that these are at least not like fake or made up. That's the common consensus right now. Perhaps more exciting, though, uh, is if you look a little bit closer, these look like widgets on the home screen, right? We've never seen anything mixed in with app icons like this. I mean, 9to5Mac told us widgets are coming and now a new report from the verifier says that they've been hearing the same thing and they have a pretty intriguing example. They're saying that you know how the clock icon is live and like it updates per usual and you can actually see the seconds go by if you just keep staring at it, like, really looking at it, like really looking, no, I'm kidding. But if you look at the weather app icon on iOS 14, potentially that will have live updates as well. Oh, oh, ah. You know, it's like, we've been waiting on this one forever too. This is gonna be so helpful because the only reason I go into my weather app is obviously to view the weather. And just like a complication on an Apple Watch where you don't have to tap on it to see a bit of information from that app, like the weather complication that shows you the temperature, on the home screen in iOS 14, Apple might show you the temperature on the icon itself in addition to potentially changing the color of the icon based on the conditions outside. If Apple updates a lot of first party apps like stocks, for example, could you view the ticker for your favorite stock? Who knows, that'd be really helpful. Widgets or live icons could save you a click and just make it so you could pull out your phone like you look at your Apple Watch and say, oh, I don't actually need to use this for any longer than a glance now, and I've gotten exactly what I needed in half or a quarter or an eighth of the time. This is an idea that I really mess with, being able to do things at a glance way quicker than having to go in and out of an application. And Apple may be actually expanding this to other parts of the operating system to the point where you could use parts of an application without actually installing it. That doesn't make sense. How could they do that? I'll tell you, Charlie Brown. Uh, apparently, just like Android has had for years, called Android Slices, where parts of an application would be available instantly, Apple's experimenting doing the same thing, but with QR codes. So let's say for YouTube, you had a QR code on your school band flyer to view your most recent concert. You could scan it with your iPhone with a native QR reader, and it would pull up a native YouTube interface even if you didn't have the YouTube app installed. 9to5Mac brings us this information today and has said that it's not just YouTube Apple's working with based on their iOS 14 code that they've been sharing so many details from. There's a number of other partners in the works as well. OpenTable, Yelp, DoorDash, uh, because that's never been more relevant in our lives. Sony's PS4 second screen, and as I mentioned earlier, YouTube. All of these are said to be in the works for quick interaction. Uh, it only mentions QR codes right now, but potentially it could also come like in spotlight search. Frankly, I wanna see it. So I'm putting you onto this, Apple. I heard it in a leak, so it better be true. Or I'm gonna be very, very angry. I also get really angry when I have to work and don't get to play which are the two cents that I got sent by Hawthorne who sponsored today's video. Okay, this company is next level. I have not been this excited about a sponsorship since I've started YouTube. I don't know if you've ever like walked in and been like, oh, you know, maybe today I wanna buy cologne at a store and you just see like the wall of like a million varieties. I've been there before and with Hawthorne, they take all of the concern or like questions out of the equation. So you take a quiz and they send you scents customized based on what you answer. So they ask you about your lifestyle, what you like to do, the type of person you are, and then they send you two custom scents. They send you a work one 
and a play one. And they smell different depending on who you are, especially with the play, how much they nailed my scent. Like, I feel like if you just bottled me up and, you know, made me a little bit more liquidy than I am right now, and in a very safe, humane way, then this is how I would smell. But of course, it depends on who you are, and they're gonna tailor it just for you, just for you sitting at home. And there's free shipping, there's free returns. If you don't like your scents for some reason, you can just reach out to them and they'll make it right. I can't say anything else other than this stuff rocks. It's hawthorne.co slash I update. When you use code I update at checkout, get 10% off. Make the deal even sweeter than it already is. Hawthorne premium tailored colognes for a premium tailored you. I made that last line up for a premium tailored you. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe you'll see it in a marketing campaign next year. Anyway, let's jump back into iOS 14. Next up, we've got a pair of reports from my pals over at The Verifier with more details about iOS 14 and specifically iPadOS 14. But for iOS 14, there's gonna be some additional changes in the Messages app. Now, some of these were already leaked to Mac rumors earlier where you'll be able to retract messages or even see a typing indicator in a group chat. You'll also apparently be able to add a wallpaper as a background in Messages. Now, this could get very messy very quickly, but especially in a group chat, it would add so much more personality in addition to, you know, all the thumbs up, hearts, all the emojis you can add it. To throw in a wallpaper as well, or even in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, if it's somebody that, I don't know, there's like a, a meme you guys share, you can just put it in the background. This is a, a common feature in a lot of messaging applications. Also in the messages ad, there's said to be some additional emoji options, which is everybody's favorite. We all love our emoji, and we're so happy that Apple added them. So if you have fun with those, I, you know, I don't often send them myself, but if you send them, then you got a lot more to look forward to. Next up, across all platforms this year, Apple is said to be unveiling a significant upgrade to Siri. Now, I wanna believe this so much in my heart, but this is also something we've heard like every year for like the past 10 years. But the verifier says that Siri is gonna be getting a new design and you'll be able to have more voices to select. Now, what more voices could mean, that's up to interpretation. Could it mean simply more dialects or world languages? Or could it mean something like Snoop Dogg is your Siri voice? I'm dreaming out here, but potentially. The biggest pain point though, is when you ask a question and it's, here's what I found on the web for. No, Siri, what I want you to do is for me to ask the question, you to synthesize all the information on the internet in your brain and then spit out the answer. Like April 7th or Josh, I don't know what I'd be asking, but I just want a direct answer. Apple has been hiring more and more people for Siri and AI every year, so maybe this is the turning point. But again, it's gonna take a lot for me to really believe this because we've been let down so many times in the past. A really small tidbit in here as well, uh, going along with Siri, is that Apple is working on a new HomePod for later this year, and it will have a new design. Details beyond that, don't we, we don't have them right now, but a new HomePod is in the works for release later this year. Device support for iOS 13 we've already talked about, but uh, the verifier has corroborated this information saying that the 6S and the SE will actually get one more year of support this year with iOS 14, but that this will definitely be their last year and that some of the features will not make it trickle down to those devices just because they are on the older side of things. That list view home screen that we've been hearing about, that may or may not be coming uh, per the verifier. Apple could implement it, but they're not entirely sure at this point in the development process. Now jumping over to some iPad OS leaks, again per the verifier, got some interesting stuff here. So they say that just in time for school because the new versions of iOS and iPad OS are said to still launch in November per usual, Apple's working to implement some additional features features in the Notes app, and they're also working on a third generation Apple Pencil. Now there's third party apps that do this already, but in the Notes app and iOS 14 natively, you might be able to solve math equations just by writing. That would be so handy. I mean, as a kid, I remember I had to download, uh, like I think it's called like Smart Math before, where you can like sort of scan your math and it will solve equations for you. If you can do that natively in the Notes app, that would be so helpful as a student to learn how to do stuff if you don't understand it. And for the third generation Apple Pencil, that like this isn't gonna be required to get the new notes functionality in iOS 14, but it will have a similar design, yet longer battery life. Apple's found a way to improve it somehow, and then also be able to be found in the Find My App. Now, I know there's a big meme about losing AirPods, but if you're losing your Apple Pencil, I mean, I, actually, it's pretty easy to lose a pencil. I can see why they're implementing this. <laughs> I was about to be like, how do you even lose a pencil? And then I just think to, all the pencils that I've lost in my life, and it's probably in the hundreds. We also have a couple details about some iPad UI upgrades. Now, broadly, on both iOS 14 and iPadOS 14, we know there aren't gonna be major changes. Uh, it's not gonna be like the iOS 7 upgrade all over again. Apple is not working on that, at least for this year, based on what we know right now. But the iPad, according to the verifier, could be gaining some more rounded edges. We've seen this trend a lot throughout iOS. It seems to be getting, I don't know, more more personal, more circly, if that would be a way to describe it. And they say the top bar of the iPad, like with the time, 
time, the date, information about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, that is said to be getting redesigned with some new icons. No further detail beyond that. We're really getting close to iOS 14 coming out. I mean, we're about a month and a half away from the developer beta, which is gonna be coming at Apple's first ever online worldwide developers conference. We've already seen crazy screenshots from the software of the new wallpaper UI. There was a initial reporting that iOS 14 was gonna be a really small update, but it seems like we could actually be getting more than expected. So I would say keep our expectations moderate and then maybe we'll be surprised in the end. So these are the latest iOS and iPadOS 14 leaks I have for you. Check out Hawthorne, hawthorne.co slash I update. Get 10% off your first order. I'm going to keep bringing you the best leaks and rumors. That's all for now. I've been Sam. Hope you're doing well. And my camera ran out of space right at this very moment, which was very, very sad. But uh, I thought, you know, maybe I could just come back. Welcome back to the vlog. Okay, I'm kidding. This is the end of the video. Peace out. Thanks for watching. You guys are the best.